because we have travelled so much by so many different forms of transport, what have we done? Plane, boat, overnight train. Coach. Coach. Taxis. Taxis. Tuk tuk. Seaclo. You like the seaclo? I did. <laughs> um, we are pretty well equipped to know what makes a good bag, what makes good luggage, I think. And we, we now spend our time going in and looking in luggage shops, don't we? It's a habit. <laughs> Mostly caused by me changing my suitcase frequently. No, but we do. Oh, look, there's a luggage shop. Let's go and look. Even though we don't need any luggage. It's no. like, oh, let's go and check out the luggage and we wait and pick it up. And, and we compare do things to it. so that we can see what makes a good piece of luggage. So recently my mum showed us a Ryanair specific, because in the UK Ryanair is the most restrictive on size. It's cheap and cheerful. It's cheap and cheerful. So they, they really limit how much luggage you can carry. So you can now get specific duffel bags. Like um, well, we thought there would probably be something better out there than just a little hold all. And this is for your under seat, which is currently free bag. Um, and we found this one. So I'll put a link underneath and we'll put a link on our website for this bag but we're going to show you what it is that we really like about this Ryanair sized rucksack because it's a rucksack which is well first of all that's great for my back you're not carrying it on one side or the other so I like that that was important for me what else has it got pockets pocket lots of pockets we love a pocket Pockets keep you organised. So we've got a pocket here. This is a message for our son who lost his passport this week. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> I know. Of, of our two children, he is not the one we thought would lose his passport. You need a pocket like this that zips up to keep your valuables in. And the good thing about this one is this goes against your back. Nobody's going to steal it. Pickpocket's not going to be able to get it if it's on your back. So like that. And then this strap. Oh, that's to go over the suitcase handle. Brilliant. When you're wandering around an airport, and um, we've been in airports hours before our flights, haven't we? Unable to check your suitcase in. You don't want to be carrying a heavy bag on your back and wheeling a suitcase around. So that holds it over the strap of your, or the, the handle of your suitcase, doesn't it? So we like that. This one has a laptop pocket. Obviously we've been vlogging as we go, so nice big pocket to put my laptop in so that we can work on the road. And that came with a, there we go, little USB port. So if you've got a power bank for your phone or whatever, you can attach that inside. You don't have to keep fishing it out of your bag. You can just charge as you go. What else we got? Um, pockets on the front. Handy for boarding passes, loose change, change that you want to change up at the airport. And another flappy pocket for any books, magazines, anything you want to have close at hand on the plane or the coach. And then you've got the actual body of the bag. Now, you pack much lighter than me, don't you? I try to. <laughs> Alan has about half as many clothes when we're travelling than me. I think Alan could probably just pack well just shoes well yeah this you is get, it's quite deep you can get a pair of shoes in there because i do running so a pair of shoes um spare clothes yeah and some pockets to keep you organized there as well some more pockets and then these little clips that we've just undone to get into the body of the bag they're compression straps so once you've got everything in you can tighten them up to compress everything so I thought that was really, really good and I believe it was under £30. 
for that bag. So I was quite pleased with that one. I think that's a good one. Um, yeah, opening it up, I can see immediately that the problem is you could probably get a fair amount of clothes in. Well, shoes, but you, clothes. Yeah, shoes you struggle. You know, like a weekend or a week worth of clothes, which you can wash. Yeah. We did Scotland with one of these, didn't we? Yeah. Went to Scotland with one of these bags on Ryanair or another airline without paying any excess um, for cabin baggage. Yeah. Um, I mean, I can immediately see that my wash bag... I have to carry medication with me um, and I had to take, well I took a year's worth in my suitcase so that wash bag immediately takes half of that so you know yeah, but we're you not need talking to do, I mean term. if you just have you know, some bits and pieces, toothbrush and... Yeah exactly and oh, actually, let me drop that, you can see there that actually the things I need just for a week or a fortnight, I can decant quite easily into these pockets to keep everything organised and I can use this part as my wash bag. That's what I would do anyway. So, just for giggles, I've got, these are the two packing cubes, these are the sizes of packing cubes that I used for my suitcase for the round the world trip just to give you an idea of size. So that was all of my clothes, that size. And that is actually the same size as this cabin bag. And then this one was my underwear, a couple of, a spare jumper that I compressed down, swimwear was in this one, which is maybe half the size of this cabin bag. And that was it, that's what I have for around the world. And then this wash bag. So, just for a laugh... Could you fit both of those in there, or just one? Well, this is what I'm going to try. I think I can fit the small one in comfortably. Yeah, I can. And, and there is room for a pair of shoes as well. So, just for a laugh, and you don't have to stay and watch this, but I am going to try to pack my travel clothes into here I'll come back and see you get on okay all right so that's what I'm gonna do use my small one I've got most of my clothes in Not too heavy? I don't know we would have to weigh it I am imagining I will be wearing 15 kg my shoe what look for that that's yeah. not 15 kilos give over we'll weigh it and we'll put how much it weighs on the screen yeah. um anyway so imagine we're going flying I would normally wear my walking boots because they're the heaviest shoes I have. I would be wearing my jeans. This shirt would be packed. Possibly this green shirt, although I've got a green blouse. And I'd carry or I'd wear a jacket. So they're not packed. But in here, I have got a sleeveless blouse, a short sleeve blouse, three t-shirts, a pair of leggings, two pairs of shorts, a uh, full length, uh, romper, jersey romper, play suit thing. Um, I think I've got a jumper in there, a couple of other bits. Anyway, I'll reel it all off. Um, it's the majority of the clothes that we travelled with, or I travelled with, and it all fits in this under seat bag. So why on earth do we need suitcases? I don't know. <laughs> I do know. So, so, but is this for a... Um... Is this a weekend clothes or a week clothes or just full time travelling clothes? Because this wouldn't be I wouldn't enough know. for this, full time travelling. I don't think it would be enough for full time travelling. I haven't put any underwear, I haven't put any swimwear, I haven't put anything like my toiletries in there. So it would be, as I said before. So it's a weekend or a week? So it's weekend or a week away, maybe a fortnight away, but I wouldn't say for long term travel. But yeah, you can fit it all in. 
on one of these bags. It's good and sturdy. I've got plenty of room in there. I've got a spare pair of shoes in there. You know, the straps are holding. That's not heavy. That's nowhere near 15 kilos. What are you on about? Yeah, 10 minutes. Nowhere near. 10. 10. I'm going to go. I'll go and weigh it in a second. We'll see who's um, closest. Yeah. But, yeah. I love it. I think this is a great purchase. We're not sponsored. Where is this from? This was from Amazon. So, as I say, I'll put the link underneath in the disc in the, the video description and I'll put a link to this on our website as well. Um, but yeah, I think that was a really good buy. Are you impressed? Are you impressed with my packing? You could fit your packing? Well, I can pack, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it depends how, if I can get my own money and stuff in there. Just yeah. shoes. Shoes seem to be the bulk of my... Yeah, shoes are the problem things. for you, aren't they? But yeah, you can get a fair amount in there. Plus, if you buy the um, or use the uh, uh, washing sheets, <gasps> yeah. So you're washing stuff. So you don't take a load of clothes. You take lots of catch-all type clothes that all sort of match together, and then you wash it every day. Yeah. So it doesn't build up. And you just you know just recycle, rotate. <laughs> we talk about it in our book. We pack separates that all coordinate together. We pack washable fabrics that are easy to wash. We rinse, we hang, we dry. Um, I think the 40 items I've packed, which included shoes and coats and scarves, they were all included in that 40 items. I had well over 150 outfits out. So, yeah. All right. Lovely. Well, I hope that's helpful to you. First of all, you know, a decent bag that you can take on Ryanair that will fit underneath the seat that currently we believe they don't charge for. And also to see how much you can actually take with you if you pack sensibly, if you pack a capsule. So, yeah, cool. if you want any more information on that, shameless plug, we have a travel guide available on Amazon as well. Okay, so... You need to go <laughs> and we're going to start planning our next travels. An adventure. Let's go. <laughs> we're Angela and Alan. We've taken a sabbatical and are travelling around the world with no plan and a small budget. We've worked hard and saved hard for this so we're trying to make our money go as far as possible while still having meaningful experiences. We may be middle-aged but that doesn't mean we're past it. Join us as we go to new countries, eat new foods and enjoy life as much as possible. If we can do it, you can.